to The Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative tips and techniques for the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Anne Matee, and today we're going to talk about side kicks on the Wanda chair. Okay, today we're going to combine the side bending mermaid with side um, kneeling leg kicks. We're going to use the Wanda chair to do that. So this is for a client who's already done some solid mat work, knows their foundation, knows how to use their center body, and wants to ramp it up a little bit. So we can start, this is the exo chair, and I've got just one spring in the middle, so it's not very heavy. And you can start them with just a little side bending mermaid. So they can pull the pedal down and go into their side bends. And notice I have my feet, or my knees, together. So I'm going to use my lat to press the pedal down and reach overhead. So I'm really activating one side of my body to open the other side. Depending on their flexibility or their strength, they could press all the way down, right? But you want to keep their arm pretty close to their head and really open up this side of the body, right? So after we've done that a few times, we can add on the kneeling side kick that we do in mat class. And having to hold the pedal down is a nice alignment technique and it's also a great stabilizing technique. It helps them with a few different things like that. So let's try. We're gonna go into our side bending mermaid like we did before and this time we're gonna press the pedal all the way down and you can advance this exercise or keep it small depending on what you want to do. To keep it small to start, we're going to really have the client's hips really organized. They're going to slowly float their knee up as they press the pedal down and just keep their knee bent. So they could continue to reach their arm here or for more stability they can bring their hand onto their hip and that will remind them where to be. So you need to have their um, body nice in alignment on the side body and then they could add an extension of the leg for an advanced client or they could keep it bent. So we're going to do the side kick series here. So they have to keep pressing down onto the pedal of the, of the Wanda chair, reach their legs long and then we can do the whole side kick series. You can use your waist to pull your leg forward and your extensors to press the leg back. So this is for you know, a fairly athletic client, reaching their head that way all the time, trying to get super long, engaging the back of the leg to open the front of the leg. Right? And then they could bring their arm up as they did it. You could practice bicycles from here. Really working, it really works your waist actually. So there's a lot of work through the center body to bring that leg forward, good, and back. And then you could also practice coming up very slowly. And that's a surprising amount of work. So you could spend a good amount of time here just reaching over, slowly pressing the pedal down as the leg comes up, and keeping the machine very quiet. Will be a lot of stability work through the torso. So I hope that gives you some ideas of how to play around with the side kick series using some of the equipment in the studio. That's it for today. If you have a comment or a question you'd like answered on an upcoming episode, comment below on our forum, Facebook, or Twitter. See you next time and never stop learning.